Hey Brahmas, we are back in the library's website. I just want to show you a few technical features of our site so that you know how to navigate it better. First up, let's talk about subject guides. So right underneath databases A through Z, we have this tab that reads subject guides. That probably doesn't mean much to you, but to us it means library guides. So web pages created by librarians that are supposed to guide you through something, right? In this case, research related to your discipline, your major, your department. So for example, we have subject guides on anthropology, on ASL, we have one on English and ESL, we have one on literary criticism, and one of our most popular ones is citing your sources. And we also have one on writing and composition. So the librarians, we try to create web pages that can guide you as a shortcut to the best sources or, or the best databases, etc., so that you can complete your research in an effective and easy manner so that you're not wasting a lot of time or being stressed out and anxious about a big research assignment. So remember that we do have those available to you and just as an example I'm gonna open up the one for citing your sources that's what we call it you know we have sub tabs for MLA 8th or APA 7th the point is you never really know what the library or the librarians might have that can assist you so you should always be feel welcomed or encouraged to ask, to ask us. And that is a good transition for our reference chat service. So as you might be able to see right now, I'm on the homepage and this pop-up came up on the lower right hand corner and it says chat now, no thanks. So when that shows up, it means that a Pierce librarian is ready to start chatting with you virtually. Now on the left hand side, under quick info, we do have a help tab and you can also start chatting with a real librarian right there too, it's the same widget. Now keep in mind that if it's really late or really early, you might be chatting with a non-Pierce librarian, but it's a real librarian nevertheless. So this is a nationwide service with where a lot of academic librarians dedicate hours so that students all over the states can ask questions about their library and their, you know, their research um, process. So even though a non-Pierce librarian might be answering your question through this chat widget, they can still help you a ton, I would imagine, because they have access to our website and our databases. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about in relation to our website is that we are on Instagram, so you can totally feel free to follow us. And in the coming page, we're gonna talk about how we're having a chance drawing where you can win a swag bag, a goodie bag of Pierce related things but we do need you to follow us on Instagram at Pierce Library first. Now let's go back to our homepage and I did want to touch base a bit about textbooks. So unfortunately because the campus is shut down and we physically do not have access to the library building, we cannot lend you our print books and therefore you cannot borrow physical textbooks from us. Because of this, as a student, your only options are really to buy or rent your textbooks. And your first go-to entity would be the bookstore. So the Pierce Bookstore does exist and it's separate from the Pierce Library. They are the ones who sell or rent books. And nowadays, they might have a lot more options in terms of ebooks. So you could probably rent an ebook version of your textbook as opposed to buying the ebook version or buying the print version 
whichever makes more sense to you. But we just wanted to make that distinction, right? Because sometimes students ask the library if we're selling books, but we don't really sell or rent books.